Val Camonica, Italy, June 13th, 2019. Ancient astronaut theorist William Henry has traveled to this UNESCO World Heritage Site to investigate what he believes could be forensic evidence that the early civilizations of this region came into contact with extraterrestrials. Hi, I'm William. Hi, I'm Luca. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Joining him is Luca Giarelli, the head of the Val Camonica Historical and Anthropological Society. Luca has spent years studying this mysterious region of northern Italy and wants to show William the rock carvings for which this alpine valley is famous. This place is massive. Yeah, it's very big, and the rock car covers all that area. Are you ready for a hike? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. I'm here at Val Camonica because it is a treasure trove of images from the ancient world that have been well documented and studied by scholars. They don't agree on the meaning of the images, but some of them are very open-minded to the ancient astronaut theory. This is one of the rock art sites here in Val Camonica. Footprints. Footprints there. Wow. You can see here. Look like deer. We have uh, warriors. Look at this. Incredible. Thousands and thousands of figures on the rocks. Here we are. Wow. What we have here? We have this one, this figure. Oh, look at that. The spaceman. Spaceman, exactly. Look at the helmet. Look at the helmet. Right. It's like he's glowing. Yeah. And the uh, communion rose. The communion rose. It's a strange and mysterious symbol with uh, nine dots. Was made probably of the first millennium before Christ. Wow. We have 19 communion rows in Val Camonica. 19 communion yes. roses. Archaeologists call this mysterious symbol the communion rose because of its flower like shape, while its exact meaning is lost to history. Some believe it to be a religious symbol or a representation of the movement of the stars. But ancient astronaut theorists suggest it might also depict something else, the vessel that brought these helmeted figures to Val Camonica. Look at that, that looks like a spaceship. It's like you'd look up in the sky and you would see this kind of twirling, spinning ship in the sky. It seems to me, just looking at it, they're trying to talk about beings coming from other worlds, maybe to this place. It could be an interpretation. Tell me about that five-pointed star. We have a lot of five-point star here on this rock, mm -hmm. but we don't know what they meaning when they did this particular geometric shape. Sometimes the, the stars mean energy, like energy from the stars would come to this place, where star beings would come to this place. Yeah, it could be an interpretation. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of mystery about the meaning of the engravings here in Black America. We have a different motivation, religious, mythological, and also describing events. Okay. So, so this is like a newspaper then. It says this was in the sky above us at some point, and this spaceman came down and maybe met the communion people. It could be. According to the ancient stories, the city of Turin, just 155 miles from Val Camonica, was founded by a character from Greek mythology called Phaeton, who came to Earth from the stars. Legend states that Turin was founded by the god Phaeton, who is a son of the sun god Helios, and in the myth of Phaeton, we learn the story of how he descended to Earth in a fiery chariot, perhaps crashing into Mount Nusini. This also led to something fortuitous because he brought gifts to this place. He had great skills, was a metallurgist, and taught this to the local people. When we look at myths such as the myth of Phaeton, here is really the story of a UFO landing on a mountain and interacting with the locals. Given the, the connection with the spacemen 
that are etched into the rock, that we have to be open to the possibility that what the ancient artist is trying to portray is something that he actually saw in the sky, something coming out of the heavens. Is there a connection between the stone carvings found at Valcamonica and the story of Phaeton's descent from the sky? And do other clues exist here that point to ancient alien contact? Were there any other cultures that were connected with the valley? We found some uh, engravings that represent a uh, god of Celtic religion. What sort of engravings? Uh, you know Carnunos? Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, oh, the horned god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. it's a horned god. And we find the same figure here in Valcamonica. That means the Celts were here. Yeah, they were the connection. So is this the only location where we see the spaceman? No, we have two locations. This is one, but we can find another astronaut out of the pot. Even deeper into the woods? Yeah, we can go there if you want. I'd love to go. Oh. Let's go. Luca guides William up a steep portion of the valley for a rare look at another carving hidden from public view. Careful. All right, thanks. Whoa, here we are. Take a look where we are. Wow. We're, we're like on the edge of a cliff here. We have uh, less than 100 people in the last 10 years that came here. Did you see them? Wait a minute. That, that's one of them, isn't it? Right there? Yeah. How cool. Couple of spacemen. Wow. You can see here the helmet with the rays like the other one. Yeah, these are just like the other guys. Yeah, so it's, it's very similar, but they are bigger. The detail is amazing. Yeah. It's like a mirror, mm -hmm. one in front of the other. Same position, same right. helmet. There's clearly some kind of an exchange that's happening here. It's like they're making a photograph of what happened at this place. They're trying to say, at this spot, this is what we saw here. We don't know, but it's very strange because it's a hidden location. These engravings are not meant to be seen by other people. Of all places to find a rock like this, this is a very secretive, almost initiatory place where select people would be brought here to be told this story about these extraterrestrials. Yeah, maybe it's a hidden message for us. <laughs> 